and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and I am a Tumblr creator and I am really excited about this Tumblr and how I'm going to show you how to recreate it. So diving right in, you'll notice that I've only spray painted half the Tumblr because the vinyl is going to go on the stainless steel side so I didn't really see the point in having to spray paint that. So I'm going to use this incredibly beautiful floral print that kind of gives me that watercolor vibe. This is from AB Designs. I absolutely love this print and the colors that go with it. So I will definitely make sure that the link is down for you below so you know where to get yours. Once I have this placed, I'm then going to go ahead and take it off the turner and then I'm going to trim up the bottom and cut off that excess at the top using my X-Acto knife. Once everything is nice and tightened up, we are ready for the fun part. So for this design, I'm going to be using crayons, a straw, and a heat gun. And as maybe you can guess, I'm going to go ahead and melt these crayons onto the tumbler. And because we know that blue and yellow make green, I didn't need to have um, a green color and everything just turned to mush. So I stuck with the uh, two different variations of blue as well as two variations of yellow. I will also make sure um, the crayon color is down in the description for you guys below if in fact you want to give this a go. But this can be done with a multitude of colors. Just make sure you know what color scheme that you're going for so that you can blend two colors to make a third color very, very nicely. So basically I'm going to use the heat gun in order to melt the crown and get it going. You'll notice because the tumbler is curved, it's, it's like alcohol inks and they just kind of go wherever they want to go. I do want to point out before anybody panics on me that yes, there is actually tape over that vinyl and protecting it along the way. Unfortunately, I only had some clear shipping tape, so that's what I use. And I have a tendency to improvise, especially if I have an idea I don't want to sit on. So moving on, with the straw, I realized, and I'm going to try to explain this to you guys the best way I can, I realized that it truly was not necessary when using the straw to blow all of my mite. So, because what'll start to happen is you'll notice that the crayons actually start to do like a crack effect and that isn't what I was going for. So, it took me a minute to get the concept and to realize that I did not need to blow that hard. But if you do, just take the heat gun, melt the wax, obviously a little bit, um, and then just go again. And that's what I genuinely love so far about working with crayons and melting them is because if you make a mistake, all you have to do is just continue to reheat it and it goes. And I can do this until I am literally satisfied. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this technique for this just one half the tumbler took me a while. But that's the blessing about using the crayons I've noticed is you have all the time that you need to blend and make this exactly the way that you want it. So once I get the crown heated up a little bit I'll, and I know that it's ready to start splattering if you will, I'll then bring it to the tumbler and just start kind of like coloring it and then just letting the heat take it and do what it will. And then you'll start to notice right here is that the blue and the yellow are now starting to make green. It's absolutely mind blowing and it's freaking stunning. I'm just sorry, I'm super excited about this technique. So at some point I will fast forward so that you guys don't get bored, but I really wanted you to see me working on this section of the tumbler and really how things started, how things were and how it ended. So for me, I started to realize that it just made more sense to go ahead and heat the wax and blow it at the exact same time. As I progress through the tumbler and continue all the way up to the top, I just continue to alternate the blue and yellow crayons. The goal for me for this particular tumbler was to go ahead and cover up all the white on this back side. However, you could always just do half of one side or you can even do stripes. Like my mind is just riding out with a whole bunch of different ideas as well as different color schemes. So sorry not sorry that you might see a couple more of these but obviously they're going to be done differently to give you new and fresher ideas. So as I get ready to add on another blue, you'll see that it almost might seem a little bit annoying as you are somewhat kind of chasing the crayon around 
um, as the blue starts to drip onto the other side that I just did. But not to worry, everything really does blend really, really nicely. You just need to have some patience when doing this and just, just take a break. The wax from the crayons dries very, very quickly, but it also heats up very quickly. So you have, like I said, plenty of time to just shift things around and really getting it to move. I think I'm going to go ahead and speed things up a little bit um, just so you guys can just kind of watch the process and I'll hopefully put some tunes down that you guys can appreciate while you watch. Once you have all the section in which you want to do already done, you can immediately remove the tape. So I wanted to show you the one side of tape that I removed, how the wax just clumps up and there's a little bit of shavings that, that'll come off and be on, but it's super simple just to take your hand and wipe it right off. I actually thought that I'd have to use my X-Acto knife to get that off, but I did not and it was very easy to remove. So once we've made sure we had all of our crayon bits removed from the tumbler, the next step, and this is very important, you want to use the quick coat. Very, very important. This way your epoxy doesn't repel from the crayon that you just put onto this tumbler because that would be terrible. So I did two coats, allowing the coats to dry in between and allowing that second coat to fully dry before moving on to my epoxy coat. And of course, because I didn't have any glitter on this, I am definitely gonna be adding in the gold MJ Magic Mix additive into this coat of epoxy. And I only did a very little bit. Stirred it all up very, very well, but this way I'd have a little bit of shimmer on the tumbler. And for this first coat of epoxy, I am using the Artist Resin from CC DIY. Not to worry, everything used in this tutorial today will be down in the description link below this video so you can check everything out. And don't forget to use your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. 
So once my tumbler was ready and it was cured to touch, I went ahead and added my, of course, textured vinyl stripes down both sides. And I decided to go with an Audrey Hepburn saying, which is elegance is the only beauty that never fails. Absolutely beautiful quote. And we always have this debacle on tumblers on whether the saying should go down the cup or up the cup. Well, because I didn't want to cover up my vinyl and I did not want to cover up my cloud-like crayon design, I decided to just run this straight down the, the side of the cup on both sides. So one section starting one way and then on the other side, it goes from the bottom up. I hope that made sense. <laughs> So now I have this saying on both sides of the tumbler. It's elegantly written. I did use the font called Baby Names that I downloaded from Defont.com. So this tumbler did only need one more coat of epoxy and she was completed. I am so seriously obsessed and I hope that you are too. If so, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. I also want to thank everyone who has since participated in the guessing game on my last tutorial. The winner will be announced very, very soon, and I will be giving her a special shout out in my next tutorial for next week. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time.